Omnipod 5 System, Pod Activation. After initial setup of the Omnipod 5 app, a prompt will display to activate a pod. If you are not ready, simply tap Not Now. When you are ready, you can tap or swipe over to the Pod Info tab from the home screen. A pod should be changed every 72 hours or when the pod's insulin reservoir is low or empty. Before activating a pod, gather the following items. Your device running the Omnipod 5 app, unopened Omnipod 5 pod, alcohol prep swabs, and a vial of room temperature, rapid acting U100 insulin that has been cleared for use with the Omnipod 5 system. Never use a pod that has been damaged or dropped after removal from the package, as this may increase risk of infection. If you are using the Omnipod app on your own compatible smartphone, you must allow location permission before you can activate a pod. The Omnipod 5 app needs your device's location to find and pair with a new pod. The Omnipod 5 app will provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to fill and activate a pod. To fill a new pod, begin by opening a new pod. Ensure that the pod is an Omnipod 5 pod by looking at the label on the pod's packaging. Keep the pod in its tray while filling and activating. Use an alcohol swab to clean the top of the vial of insulin. Assemble the syringe by twisting the needle onto the syringe and carefully remove the protective cap. Draw air into the fill syringe equal to the amount of insulin to fill the pod. The pod must be filled with a minimum of 85 units and has a maximum of 200 units. Depress the air into the vial of insulin. With the needle still in the vial, turn the vial upside down. Fill the syringe with the desired amount of insulin. To remove any air bubbles in the syringe, with the needle still in the vial, flick the side of the syringe to make them rise to the top. Carefully push any remaining air bubbles back into the vial. Remove the needle from the vial. Locate the fill port by following the black arrow on the underside of the pod. Keeping the pod in its tray, insert the needle straight down into the fill port. Slowly depress the plunger completely to fill the pod. There are two confirmation beeps when the pod is activated. Be sure to completely empty the fill syringe even after hearing the two beeps. After the pod has been filled, place the pod while still in its tray next to the device running the Omnipod 5 app so they are touching. Tap Next. The Omnipod 5 app will establish a connection with the pod and automatically perform a series of safety checks and prime the pod. Listen for the tone to indicate that the pod is paired and ready to be applied. Now select a pod infusion site. Ideal locations for placement include arm, leg, lower back buttocks, abdomen. Try to place your pod in direct line of sight to your CGM and avoid placing it on the opposite side of the body from where the CGM is placed. Once selected, you will need to clean the pod infusion site. Make sure the site is completely dry before you apply your pod. The pod site map is an optional feature to track current and recent pod site locations. Tap record pod site for this feature. Tap Done once site is recorded. Follow the next steps on the screen. Remove pod needle tab and confirm that the cannula is not sticking out. Remove the white paper backing. Make sure the adhesive is clean and intact. Apply the pod to the selected site. Run your fingers around the adhesive to secure it. If the pod was applied to a lean area, gently lift the skin around the pod. Tap Start to insert the cannula and begin basal delivery. Confirm that the pod is securely attached to the body, then tap Yes. After insertion of the cannula, check the pod and infusion site. Look through the viewing window to verify that the light blue cannula is inserted into the skin. Verify that the pink color is in the area indicated on the top of the pod. Tap Yes if the cannula was properly inserted. If you have a Dexcom transmitter serial number already entered into the Omnipod 5 app, you can switch to automated mode by tapping yes. Otherwise, you will be able to switch to automated mode later once you enter your Dexcom transmitter serial number. To change a pod, you must first deactivate your current pod. To deactivate a pod, 
Go to the Pod Info tab, tap View Pod Details, then tap Change Pod. Tap Deactivate Pod. Remove the pod slowly to avoid possible skin irritation.